you know, the whole task of man in creation is the Eucharistic task, where he goes out into creation, he cultivates it, he turns it into a body for God, he brings it to God in the Garden of Eden, God transfigures it, and the transfiguration of that body of creation allows man to go further and further out into creation, further transfiguring it until Christ is all in all. That's the whole point of man being image of God, that's the whole point of creation at all. Creation finds its culmination in the person of Mary, who is the embodiment, for lack of a better term, I mean, that's kind of the perfect term to use, who is the embodiment of embodiment, brings herself forward as the cultivation of creation, because the whole purpose of the Old Testament was the whittling down, or the plowing of the fields, it says in a couple of verses. Plowing the fields of man, transforming their heart into a fallow field ripe for seeding, and that's what God does in the Incarnation. Jesus Christ comes down, he takes body from Mary, because that's what it means to be born from your mother, is to take body from her. Christ takes the body of his mother, and he transfigures it into something, which he then gives to us. And the way that John presents that in the gospel is really interesting, because it's right before Jesus Christ pours blood and water out of his side on the cross that he tells John, behold your mother, take her into your house. And that's important, because at the beginning of the book, the disciples ask Jesus, where is your dwelling? Where do you come from? And the theme of homes and dwelling places is super important in the book of John. He talks about the multiple houses that his father is preparing for his disciples. And he talks about how he comes from his father's house. And then at the end of the book, he says to John, take my mother into your house. And directly thereafter, we see the Eucharist pour out of the side of Jesus. And what is the Eucharist other than the body which he has taken from Mary and transfigured into his body, which he then pours out for us, that we can all be constituted by that very same body and be a part of the same house, because the church is a household, it's Jesus' household, and it's in Jesus' household that we find the many households of God, which is all of us individually. We're all constituted as the many houses of Jesus' Father, insofar as we participate in the same spirit that Mary is participating in, in her giving birth to Jesus Christ. So mm -hmm. taking Mary into your house, as John did, is the taking of the Eucharist. It's the joining of yourself to the Holy Spirit, which constitutes that maternal giving birth of Christ. I think it's Nicholas Cabasilas, I think, who has the quote, uh, or it might be St. John of Damascus, I can't remember, who says the economy of salvation can be found in the name Theotokos, because to be mm -hmm. saved, to be constituted by Jesus Christ as your identity, is to be a God-bearer. So our participation in the salvific work of Jesus Christ is the very taking in of Mary into our households and being transformed into a Theotokos ourselves. And that's done through the participation in the Eucharist, which is the participation in the transfigured body of Mary herself in the person of Jesus Christ.